So people often ask me, John, what is the best way to protect your car? Best is an interesting word, but certainly the most popular format of protection product would have to be these spray sealants or ceramic spray sealants. In this product, we got a fresh lineup of 10 new ceramic spray sealants. We're gonna be testing them to hell and back. And one of them is gonna be a winner. And you know how this goes, there can be only one. So let's introduce the products and do test one of value, giving you the cost per litre. So the most expensive products is the SI Ramix Illustrious, which is a graphene spray sealant, which costs around 179.96 per litre. That's very expensive. Next up, the second most expensive, Chemical Guys Hydro Charge Ceramic Spray Coating, £90.80 per litre. Next up, Dr. Beasley's Bead Hero, £80.44 pence per litre. Average price per litre of all these products in the test, £68.41, so we're now below average. Next up, the American Armour Detail Supply, ceramic spray sealant, £63.42. Next up, Koch Chemi. This is a non-ceramic one, if you like, but still a spray sealant. SOO2 spray sealant, £58.80 per litre. Next up, Colonite bead coat ceramic sealant 52 pound 75 so that is the fifth cheapest if you like fourth cheapest nearly on the podium pns inspiration defender love that name 44 pound 29 per liter and in third place with the value for money menzerna ceramic spray for, for golf players 41 pound 90 per liter next up in second place oh, 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 oh. This is the Vonix Blend Carnuba Silica SiO2 <laughs> spray wax costing £40, 6p per litre. But the winner on value for money, da, 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 3D Bead It Up Super Hydrophobic Polymer Spray Sealant effectively, spray on wipe off, £31.69 per litre. And it's American, so it's got all that import tax and all that sort of shenanigans, so normally they're more expensive. So it's really good. You could argue it's not ceramic, it's not the SIO who, but we're just looking at the value there. There's our rankings, guys. So next up, very important, user experience. 30 marks, all made up from these individual tests. The overall application experience, applying it, buffing it, uh, what you felt like when you were using it, 10 marks. Durability claims, are they present? Three. Is it multi-surface friendly? Three. Does it give you dirt repellency, which is, the main reason for pick, picking a modern ceramic spray sealant. Uh, only two marks though, because it's a claim thing, not does it actually do it. Trigger quality, three marks. Instruction quality, three marks. Can I read them? Are they, you know, do they make sense? Health and safety info needs to be there, three marks. Can I use it wet? Three marks, 30 marks in total. Let's go down to the products. So with the least amount of marks, these three products. First of all, the SI Ramix product, even though it tells me how long it lasts, doesn't tell me really what surfaces I can use it on or if it's multi-surface compatible. Um, doesn't tell me if it's got dirt repellency and it's a real modern kind of pr product. So I'd like to know if it does or doesn't. Trigger quality, two separate trigger failures on this. So the product seems to be setting inside the trigger chamber and, and the trigger is seizing up. The instruction quality were probably the lowest in this test. Health and safety information is in there. You cannot use it wet. My overall application experience was the spreading of the products really dry and you can't really see what you're spreading. It feels like you're spreading a mineral spirit around on the panel. It's not thick or resinous though, which is interesting. But the thing is, the good side is when you buff it, it's nice to buff off of the panel. So it was a game of two halves, but five out of 10 overall for the application, 12 marks there. Next up, Dr. Beasley's. Now, again, no durability claims on this product. Doesn't tell me about what surface suitability I need. Um, it does talk a bit about dirt repellency, but more through beading and the bead capturing the dirt and dragging it down the panel. Trigger quality, 1.5 out of three. It spits a little bit, but it's decent. Instruction quality, overall 2.5 out of 10. 
good instructions, but no preamble about what the product actually is on the bottle. So if you're an inexperienced user, you might not know what a ceramic spray is. Uh, health and safety information. As far as I can see, there's nothing on the bottle, guys. So um, I don't know. I thought you needed that. So I've not given it the marks there. Um, and you can't use it wet. Overall application experience, a 7 out of 10. It's, it's it's very easy to use, but it's not the slickest product out there. It is completely streak free. And I gave it a seven out of 10. Um, there was just a slightly warmer experience from a couple of products, although seven out of 10 is in the higher echelons. But overall, it missed out on quite a few marks there and only got 12. Next up, the Koch Chemi product. No durability claims. Doesn't tell me about multi-surface um, suitability. Doesn't provide dirt repellency. Trigger quality is absolute top draw, three out of three there. Instruction quality, okay, two out of 10. Health and safety, again, I couldn't find anything on the bottle. Um, and Koch are very, you know, Koch are very good. So maybe there are no health and safety things, but I had to put a zero there because I can't find a mention of it at all. What happens if you get it in your eyes, for example? It's, you know, it's got a fishy siloxane smell in it. So I don't know. Um, and you can't use it wet. Overall, um, to sp the application is exactly like the doctor to Beadsley. It's not the slickest, but it's very QD-like and it doesn't streak, so it's easy to get down on the panel. So 7 out of 10 on the application, overall 12. So those were the slightly less user experience. But remember, this is out of 30 as well, and no one got a full smorgasbord of marks. Next up with some slightly more marks. First of all, the Vonix. It tells you how long it lasts, four months. It's not multi-surface compatible. You know, it doesn't tell you about glass or wheels or trim or whatever. It doesn't provide dirt repellency. The trigger quality is a 2.5. Very good trigger, actually. Nice draw on it. Instruction quality, some of the English is, is poor on it, and it reads like a translated kind of language, unfortunately. Health and safety information is there. You can't use it wet. And it's a 7.5 out of 10 for the application. You get a bit more sort of shine when you buff it back. It's got that little bit of wow factor that you're probably getting from the Carnuba. Like when you polish an interior bit of furniture, it really shines it up. Um, it's not particularly slick when you apply it out though, but pretty good. That's a respectable amount of marks. Over to the chemical guys, Hydro Charge. Now, this is slightly better. It tells you exactly how long it lasts, up to 12 months. It doesn't tell you about the multi-surface compatibility or whether it repels dirt, and it should do, because it's got every other claim on there, but Maybe it doesn't repel dirt, so they haven't put it on there. You know what I mean? But they don't get the marks. The trigger is okay. It's two. The instruction quality is very good, and I gave that a three out of three. Health and safety information, good. Can't use it wet. This feels more like um, applying a lightweight, thin ceramic um, coating over the car, like a mineral spirit carrier over the car. But the buff on it is really good for something which is non-water-based. Uh, I gave it an overall six out of five, uh, six point five out of ten for the application, because it's not water based. You do get a slight solvent smell coming back, and you're aware that it's not a product you should use casually. And I think you should put some gloves on and all that sort of stuff when you use it. So let's move on. Next up with eighteen marks is the three D bead it up. No idea how long it lasts because it doesn't give you an estimate, so it didn't pick up the marks. It is multi surface compatible though. Brilliant. So I can spray it on like uh, you know trim and other things. It tells you that. Uh, it doesn't tell me about dirt repellency. The trigger quality is decent, two out of three. Instruction quality, decent, 2.5 out of three. Health and safety information, good. Uh, it doesn't tell me if I can use it wet, so I assume I can't. It's got an amazing berry scent to it. It's got a slightly more oily feel, which, not greasy oily, but just a smoother smoothness to when, to when you apply it over some of these two, which are more watery. Um, and that gives you a slightly more pleasant user experience. So I gave it a 7.5 out of 10 for the actual application. Then we move up into the higher echelon. So you could say these are joint third, picking up 19 marks. First of all, the Menzerna ceramic spray. So this tells me that it lasts three months, okay? It doesn't tell me if it's multi-surface compatible. It does mention a little bit about dirt repellency, but not the full smorgasbord of, of hype. So I gave it one out of two there. Trigger quality, top draw, really good um, um, trigger on these. I think they're called Opus compression ones. Uh, nice misting. Instruction quality, two out of three, decent, but a bit limited. No health and safety information, really, or writing. You could argue that's health and safety, but I don't know if that's 
standard. What happens if you do get it in your eyes or, you know, you accidentally, do you have to keep it away from children? There's no mention of health and safety on there at all. So I didn't give it the marks. Um, the application experience though, the best, 10 out of 10 for me. When you spray this on the panel, it's really slick. It's so, it's, the microfiber just slides across it and you really see the shine come through when you buff it. Top draw product to use this, like, like using an amazing QD that's highly glossy. So the best um, application experience, if not the, the best overall user experience, but that's a, quite a nice product. Now, the PNS Inspiration Defender, to be careful what I say there. Durability claims are not there, even though it says high durability, that doesn't mean anything to me. Um, Multi-surface compatible, yes. Um, paint, uh, trim, glass, wheels, I think, all that sort of stuff. Um, doesn't claim any dirt repellency as far as I can see. Um, trigger quality, good. These are the best triggers I think you can get for your money. They're not the best overall, but they're really good triggers for the money. They missed out the product well. Uh, instruction quality with PNS, I gave it a three out of three. Really clear, good instructions with everything that you'd want and no real mistakes. Health and safety is present, you can't use it wet. Um, the application experience is good, it's not the slickest. When you lay this out and it's wet, it's a little bit resinous, but then as it starts to dry, this slickness and gloss comes through and as you're buffing it back, you can really see the shine on the panel. And it's got a depth to the shine as well. It reminds me of Beadmaker, exactly the same thing. It's not the same product as Beadmaker. Obviously, it's got SiO2 in it and other ingredients, different formulations. But maybe it shares that sort of resin that they use in Beadmaker. And it's a really nice material. And the user experience for me was high on this. Next up, in second place with the overall user experience, 22 marks out of 30. So we're getting very, very high here. Tells me how long it lasts, six months, uh, which is great. It's multi-surface friendly, doesn't c c claim dirt repellency. Trigger quality is okay, two out of three. Instruction quality, really good, three out of three. Health and safety is there, can't use it wet. Now this isn't the slickest one when you lay it on the panel and buff it, but it melts into the panel, even on black paint, and it just completely disappears. You could almost just mist this on and slap it nonchalantly with the back of your hand and your microfiber, and it will disappear and it will be glossy. It's so easy to use. Um, yeah, overall, a really impressive user experience for me from Colonite with 22 marks. But the product I think has the overall highest experience is the Armour Detail Supply. It might, might not be the best branding product, even though the bottle and the trigger look pretty slick to me and look pretty nice and it's a good bottle. But here, we, this is the reason it's picked up all the points. It tells me how long it lasts. I know it's up to six months. I can use it on loads of different surfaces, wheels, glass, trim, which is important really for a sealant, isn't it? Because it saves me money. I can use this for everything. It tells me it offers dirt repellency. So, you know, I want to know that with a ceramic spray or well, what's the point of buying it? Trigger quality is really good. I gave it a two out of three. It's a high quality control trigger, this Vela trigger, but if you squeeze it, it can leak and you do get little dribbles on the, on the worktop and stuff, but it is still a high quality trigger. Health and safety is there and it's good. And I can use it wet, which is useful. Um, the application experience, I gave a seven out of 10. It's not quite as slick as these two products here, especially the Menzerna. Um, it is quite resinous, but when it sets, the slickness will come through a little bit later on. The gloss seems okay, and it's not streaky for a spray sealant. So because it also delivered on all its obligations and all that information, it's picked up the most marks. The only place it lost some marks is the size of the writing. So it really got lost a couple of marks on the um, instructions because it's virtually <laughs> impossible to read if you don't have good eyesight. But there we go, guys. There's the sort of podium on user experience. I think, yeah, I kind of am the most excited about these products here. And perhaps as I go down, the user experience is a little bit less with these products. And there's certain improvements that I think could be made with these three products to align them with the top. There we have it. Next test is gloss, guys, using our Rowpoint IQ Gonio Photometer, three reading average. The Koch Chemi product was in the last place with 89.2 units of gloss. A high number is good. Uh, a low number is bad. That was really consistent with an untreated panel, so it wasn't really able to add uh, much or any gloss at all to our test panel. Uh, the next worst, but there's a considerable jump up here where all of them are actually quite close, 
is the 3D beat it up putting 91.4, then Menzerna with 91.7, then Dr. Beasley's with 91.9, then PNS Defender with 92.2, then Armour with 92.3, then Vonix Blend with 92.4, then Chemical Guys with 92.8 in third place, so that's the podium for the Chemical Guys. In second place, the Colonite Bead Coat with 93.1. And then really, with a good jump up and some one stonking reading, um, was the SI Remix with an average of 94.2, which is an impressive um, reading. So there is our winner on Gloss, and there's our podium. The next test, guys, slickness using our tilt table uh, method. This is perhaps the least slick, and it's the one that you might just feel the um, applicator under your fingers isn't quite slidey as some of the others. The rest of them, it'd be very hard to separate apart from when you get to the top echelon. So this is the worst ranking, and then you can see as we move our way up all the different products. I won't call them out because you can see them there. Now we're at the halfway point. Um, now we're getting on to the ones that I think you can notice are a little bit more slidey. Um, so the top podium, PNS, beat it up. And then the Menzerna, definitely you can feel a lightness of that applicator under this product. So this is the, the slickness king in this particular group comparison. There we go. Okay, hydrophobicity testing. The PNS product picks up the least amount of marks. After that, with a bit of an improvement, is the 3D, beat it up. Then it's the chemical guys. Then it's the Menzerna. Again, we're just getting better all the time as we go up through the rankings. Then it's the Koch, which has a decent amount of zip to it. I'm looking at the trailing here, guys. Then it is the number six, where's that? Dr. Beasley. Again, which is pretty rapid, but I can still get a bit of trailing. We're getting to good, decent performance now. Then the Vonix, which is absolutely crazy hydrophobic. Then the SI Ramic, which is also has that zippy zing. Look at the speed of it. And then after that, it's the Armour, which is as good as it gets, really. Just You can just see the speed that it's running down. Now compare the speed here. That's got that craziness to it, you know, where it absolutely flies off. So that's the top one for me, the Colonite. But the armor's really good as well. So there's my marks. And here, guys, I'm just going to show you how the beads kind of look on the panel, which is some of the things that these products advertise. Really, the standout ones there, the SI Remix, that's starting to bead good. Dr. Beasley, very decent on the beads. Menzerna, not so great. PNS, no beading really, or very low beading. Um, Armour, fantastic, real round pert beads. Koch, decent. Vonix, very good. And Colonite as well, like the Armour, top level beading. So this time around, for durability testing, I'm just leaving the panel outside for a few weeks and every day washing it off with a little solution of normal car shampoo and uh, going side to side. So I rub on the panel consistently and then rinsing off. So the footage you're seeing here, guys, is after five days or 10 wash passes, two a day. The PNS went first. Then, to me, it was the chemical guys, which is showing no hydrophobic performance. Then after that, it was the 3D and then the Menzerna. And here, guys, I've added armor to the list of ones which have really lost their repellency. This is after an extra three days with six more wash passes. Here we're up to 10 days and a total of 20 wash passes. I'm saying the Vonix went next, and after that, it was the bead coat. Finally, guys, we're at 15 days and around 30 passes, and I'm trying to separate the top three. You can see here, Koch, is still clearing all of that water off of the panels. You'd say that it hasn't failed yet, or you wouldn't mark it as gone.
But the Dr. Beasley seems to be at that point now where you can kind of say, well, it's, there's something still there, but for all intensive purposes, it's virtually gone. So I've got my kind of final order. You can see there it's going to be Dr. Beasley third, Koch second, and the SI Remix is still beading like it was when I applied it on day one. Okay, guys, so the final countdown with the least amount of marks, but not the least favorite product for me. This would be somewhere in the middle for me. Um, Dr. Beasley's Bead Hero. A good amount of hydrophobicity, enough to call it a bead hero, just, but there's better ones. Very good durability for a water-based spray sealant. Those are the positives, and it goes on like a detail spray. It doesn't have the slickness of some of the other products, and its Achilles heel was the price, which was very expensive, and it lost a lot of marks there for a water-based product. And the user experience, if you presented this to Halfords, they would look at it and say, well, what is this product? And it doesn't actually tell you. So their, their customers would look at it, maybe sprout their clothes, maybe sprout their tires. They might think it's a doctor sort of like medical product or whatever. You have to have that basic product information on there on what this is. You can't just say hydrophobic ceramic spray. It needs to be more info. Tell us how long it lasts. I think the durability is pretty good. Maybe four to, five, four to six months, something like that, from what I'm seeing. In next place, Chemical Guys Hydro Charge, perhaps my least favorite product for a ceramic spray coating with all of these claims. I was expecting a little bit more. It's off to a terrible start with value because it's also very expensive. Um, the gloss is the one saving attribute. It tested well in gloss, not particularly slick, not particularly hydrophobic either, and it claims extreme hydrophobicity and poor durability, but the lack of hydrophobicity can impact on how it how we perceive durability. User experience, as always, very good with Chemical Guys. I like Chemical Guys products, but at this hydro range, ceramic range, ceramic um, soap, ceramic gel-like wax, all those things in the hydro range have not performed that well for me, and neither has this one. Next, with the jump up in marks, and a good benchmark in what a spray sealant should do, with 43 points, is the Koch product. It's average on price. It didn't read well in the gloss testing, which really hurt it. Above average slickness, a average hydrophobicity, a bit there. Very good durability though, very, very good. Second only to one other product. Um, user experience, again, a little bit lacklustre. They could tell you more about it. Um, again though, this applies very easily, a bit like a detail spray, it's not grippy. It doesn't smell nice, it's got a fishy siloxane smell, and I think I rec, rec recognize the actual siloxane they're using, which is a German one that I got my hands on a few years ago. And it feels like a siloxane heavy product to me, but a decent offering. Somewhere average, I think, is the best way to describe it. PS. now this picked up 48 marks. User experience, good, very professional bottle, good sprayer, good description, could be used as ceramic coating topper. However, it's a standalone sealant, SiO2 protection. It's very disappointing, my opinion, as a standalone protection product. The, um, the value is okay, the gloss was average, the slickness was great. That's what it's got going for it. When you spray it on the panel, it starts setting, it glosses up under the microfiber and slicks up. That's its best feature. But the durability and the repellency on it are very low. PNS could argue that's by design, so it shows what's underneath more. I need more from it. Um, it's too similar, I don't want to say it, but it's too similar to bead maker to fall into that spray sealant category for me and this particular test. So that's why it is where it is. Next up, ceramic, S-I-Ramic. Well, this is a product and a half. The best performing product in this test with gloss, highest gloss, very slick once it sets, very repellent and extremely durable. It's light years ahead of these other products in durability. Uh, it's still going like it's been freshly applied like three weeks later and at least 25 wash cycles of just, you know, normal shampoo. Um, incredible durability. It's let down by its user experience, which is a bit lackluster on the bottle, and its incredible high price tag. I see this as a professional grade product that you could really be proud of. You put it on a customer's car and the performance will be there for the customer to see. Yes, it's a bit dry when you spread it, but the buff is lovely. I think they also need to repackage and rebrand. Get away from these cheap cheap, sprig, cheap spray triggers, which seize as the product sets in the trigger. 
get a better bottle, more in-depth instructions, and wow, you've got something dynamite, and I'll be keeping this, and perhaps talking about it more on the channel. Amazing performance um, from a product, amazing. Okay, next up, Armour Detail, very respectable, 53.5. The value let it down a little bit for a water-based product. It was a bit more expensive than some of its competitors. Gloss testing's fine. It's not slick, it has a slight resinous feeling to it. Again, when it sets later on, you won't notice that and it'll be fine, but it's not a really slick application and it's not a really low friction material. So it could be improved there. And then you've got something very special. It's extremely hydrophobic and beady and loads of people love that. So if you like the water flying off your panels and all that sort of stuff, then you'll love this. The durability though was average within this field, which isn't bad because it's a good field. The user experience was exceptional. I think they've got lots of things right. They just need to expand their writing. Then you're onto a good product. Next up, 3D Bead It Up. Now, this was off to a cracking start because the price was the best. Um, so it's doing really well and the user experience is good. So it's right up there at the front of the pack. But after that, the performance wasn't good, but it managed to hold on. The gloss didn't test good in the gloss. It's not that repellent to the point where I personally don't feel it merits the Bead It name. It's hydrophobic, but it's not a beady product for me. The durability is okay. Um, again, it doesn't present as well as some of the others because of that lack of hydrophobicity. It is okay though, the durability. Um, it's very slick as well, which is good. So I picked up 34, it's a good showing, but it's not one of my favorites. So I think it's done really well to get up in the top echelons. In third place, one of my favorite products in this test. This is a really, really good product. Menzerna Ceramic Spray, good value, 16 marks. Yeah, okay, it didn't do well in the gloss testing, but they were all in that high 91 dot something or low 92s, and there's a bit of error there. So it could have got a few more marks there. Slickness though, this stuff is like, it's so slick when you apply it. And it's so, you see the shine on the panel, regardless of what the gloss testing says. The user experience from that point of view, application experience is amazing. It's not that repellent, unfortunately. The durability just below average in this test, but it's not bad. This is almost like a ceramic detailer. Very good product though. That's a top jaw product that is. Um, coming in in second place with 56.5 is the Vonix Carnuba and SiO2 blend. Very good value. Nice gloss, which you expect with Carnuba products. It's not slick though. Again, you might expect that because of that Carnuba. I don't know, it just didn't test slick. Repellency, very good. Durability above average, however, this is not durable if you put stronger chemicals on it. I've done some playing around and you'd expect that from Carnuba, but if you wash it with pH neutral, whatever, and you're careful, it does last, but I noticed that, so it doesn't have good chemical resistance. You could probably get rid of it quite quickly. Overall user experience, decent. They need to work on their language on the label. And it's come second, not my second favorite though. I'd give that to the Menzerna. The overall winner, guys, <laughs> the reason I was doing this test is because I was so impressed with this stuff and I wanted to throw it up against loads of other products. Now, it's not the cheapest, so it didn't get a cracking start, but 12 is above average. That's a six out of 10 in the field. So it wasn't decimated. The gloss is good and I notice that when I use it. The slickness is average, actually. So maybe my user experience when I'm using it on my car, because it's well-maintained, was, higher in terms of applying it than it tests. So I think that's fair to say. So it's not the most slickest, but it's average, it's good slickness. The water repellency on ab application is as good as it gets. It's extremely hydrophobic, that flick that I love to see. Durability seven, which is good within this test, but again, a bit like the SI, a bit, bit like this Vonix one, sorry. If you expose it to stronger chemicals, then it degrades quicker, which is something I've noticed. But up to six months is probably a fair claim, but you don't hit it with anything hard. No brick acid. <laughs> User experience is very good at 22 out of 30. Overall 65, and, it, and it, there's a gap between it and the second place. It's my favorite product in this test. A quick summary of everything though, really guys, that's probably my overall favorite. That is also a stonker of a, of a slick ceramic spray. And the SI Ranix is an incredible powerhouse when it comes to durability. Incredible. Um, the rest of them have all got things going for them. We've covered them 
in this particular test. I hope it gives you an idea of what these products are like. Um, if you enjoy this video, guys, do not forget to subscribe. If you want to be part of the steering group um, for all future tests, check out the link in Patreon. You can support the channel and support these reviews through the Patreon links. Otherwise, just like the video and subscribe. Let us know your comments on what you feel here. Very interesting test with a completely unique field. And these are my three favorites. We've done the, um, the machine, the churning through of the data, and that's how it falls. That doesn't always represent how I personally feel about them, but it gives you a good overall feel. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. Take care. Holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. Where was I when you?